Coach, we just have an opening statement first. Uh, proud of uh, our effort. Um, played a really good team tonight. Um, somebody that we've had games similar to tonight with over the years. Um, just proud of where we're at with our team right now in regards to our habits. Um, talked a lot about some of the little things that it takes to win games uh, this deep in the season, and I thought our guys did a great job. Andy, uh, talk about to play against uh, Rody tonight. He, you know, foul trouble, obviously plagued him, but you didn't really uh, take advantage of that first half of his uh, his absence. Um, I mean, I think, you know, they're all, they have good players. I mean, Rody's obviously a great player, but, uh, you know, uh, we just wanted to go at him the first half and late, especially, and, uh, you know, not force anything out of offense, just try and get what was, what was open. And we did a great job moving the ball and sharing it with everyone. How difficult is that to play a team, a, a third time, a team that, that plays hard just like yourselves? Oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's really hard. They're a really well-coached team, and they always have a good plan coming into the game. And, uh, you know, we played them twice already, so it's kind of an advantage and disadvantage. I mean, we know them well, and they know us well. So it just comes down, I think, to preparation and just who wants it more. Great coach. What was the key tonight for your team? I, I think a couple things. Um, we wanted to make sure that we guarded the three-point line extremely well. Uh, Taylor Rode is a great player, um, best individual player in our region. Uh, but we thought uh, the thing that allows them to be successful is all the main threes with uh, the perimeter players. Uh, and uh, you look at the box score right here, they only had four makes um, tonight for, from there. So I think for us, that was a huge key. Would you talk a little bit about Andy's play tonight? It was uh, unbelievably good. Um, and we needed him in a lot of different areas. We needed some big baskets uh, on the block. Um, I think uh, something that doesn't necessarily show up on the stat sheet is the foul pressure he put on Rody um, all night. Great. Uh, Andy, your thoughts on advancing to the West Regional Championship game? Oh, you know, we're, uh, I mean, we're, of course, we're really excited, but we're trying to keep a level head about it because we know we got, you know, we came here to win three games and uh, we're going to be. Make sure we're prepared for Monday, and we're just thinking ahead right now and trying to be prepared for that game. Great. Coach, you had a, a, another contributions from a lot of different people. Anyone uh, stand out other than Andy here? Well, I think when you get to, to this point in the season, you need individual players to step up. Um, we talked about it uh, in our week of practice before we even got here. Uh, first round game, we got it from Jake Anderson. And I think tonight we got it from Riley Stockton. Andy, going back to Rody. Coming into a game like this where the other team's got a, a prominent big man as well, do, do you approach the game any differently than other games? Um, I mean, not really. I would say, you know, there was emphasis to try and put foul pressure on him. Uh, and definitely on defense, I mean, uh, he's a really good player, so we're just trying to limit his touches and limit what he does and just trying to make him score over, to score over size, and that was our goal. I mean, with a player like him, you can never just shut him down completely, so you just got to rely on your teammates for help and just do the best you can. What do you think has been the key to your team advancing this far through the tournament? Uh, I think it's our chemistry. Uh, I mean, I've, I've never really been on a team that's been so such a tight knit group. Um, you know, and our approach has just been really good. We had, uh, you know, a bit of a disappointment in the conference tournament, and then we had a great week of practice. I mean, everyone uh, has been talking to everyone else, coming together and saying, "Hey, like we we want to make this special," and everyone's bought into the. Coach, was that first round loss in the conference tournament a motivator for this team? Well, I think it probably woke us up uh, a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, this is the tournament we play all season for. Um, our program's been in it the consecutive uh, years now. Um, and I think that that had a lot to do with our preparation. Our guys recognize that. Um, and we didn't just come here to win the first round game or to be competitive in the first round game. Every time we talked coming here, we said our goal was to still be playing when we get back home. Great. Thanks very much.